my beautiful spirits. Good morning. How are you doing today? Hope that you're doing amazing and positive. God bless you and a lot of blessings for all of you, my friends. I am outdoors because the day is so beautiful. It is beautiful. I wanted to be outdoors because this is a beautiful day and the trees and the sound of the birds and um, the whole thing, you know, that I'm very blessed to be able to enjoy this beautiful view with the trees. I'm so blessed and humbled uh, that I can enjoy these moments. So I want to also recharge my batteries myself with the sun and it's a great uh, moment to do it. I want to send you good vibes, good, good, positive, positive energy. Energía fuerte, fuerte, fuerte energía. En el nombre de Dios, mucha fuerza, mucha fuerza mental. A lot of strength in your spirits, in a lot of strength in a strong mind. My beautiful spirits, I wanted to talk to you about this experience that I had happened a couple of days ago. So I went to this store to find a piece that I need for a lamp that I'm gonna install and I need to put and I need a correct side. So I went to this store to look for that. So the lady uh, was very nice and she helped me and I found the piece. So and then uh, I was walking around the store to see if I need something else. So and then I saw all the way in the back of the store uh, this huge counter with a lot of keys. And I remind myself that I need to make a copy of my car key because uh, my car key it is the part of the handle is broken so I need to replace it so I went to the counter and this guy was there so I asked him do you make car keys the guy told me yes we do uh, make car keys just tell me the year of the car and what kind of car is that so I told him so and then the guy said yes yes he was checking in the computer about the year of the car and, and he told me yes we can make uh, the car key my car key has um, a chip inside, a memory. So the guy asked me for my key because he needs to copy the memory for the, the new key. So he told me, okay, wait here or, or shop around. The guy told me, I'm gonna go to your car and uh, copy that memory in the, the new key. I was walking around the store, 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 35 minutes, 35 minutes. I forgot to mention to you something else. Uh, when the guy told me, yes, we do make car keys here, he told me, okay, he ring me, you know, and he said, go to the cashier and pay. The, the price was $80 to make that car key. So I went to the cashier, I pay. So I come back to him and I gave it a receipt. So, well, so I was waiting 35 minutes. So when the guy come back, he told me, eh, you know what? I cannot copy the, the memory because your car has only 9% battery. And we need a 10% um, of battery to be able to, to make the other key transfer the memory. In my head, I was thinking, so weird because otherwise my car is not gonna be able to run. And maybe the guy doesn't know what he's doing and he playing like a he's no, what he's doing. So I, I, I said, um, I said to him, what? I, I don't understand what you said. Yes, your battery is very, very low and um, I cannot make the key. I, I guess the guy didn't know what he's doing because I was driving my car fine and when my battery is low on the screen on the car in a panel, you know, they show battery low, they show you and the light is on. So I will know it. The guy told me, take your car and charge your battery and you come back and I said to him I have no time to come back because at that day at that moment I was you know I, I was coming back home to editing a video and upload a video for you guys so I said to him I have no time today maybe I will come back tomorrow or after to and after today because I'm very busy all these days the guy is staring at me like a, with a mean eyes and he, and, I, and he says, no, take your receipt and you come back. I said, no, you know what? 
I want my money back because I don't know what if I'm gonna come back tomorrow or to or today later. I don't know. I don't have no time. I just need my money back. When the guy is staring at me with those evil eyes and bad energy, because I can feel that the heavy energy on him, the guy grabbed my hand like that. Was so fast everything, and he put the other hand and he said, "This is the key, and go to the cashier." and they're gonna give your money back. And I was in shock, in shock because was everything so fast in a second? And I said to him, what's wrong with you? Are you upset? What happened? Go to the cashier. When he exploded like that, he got red. His face was red. That's why I, I asked him, what happened with you? What's wrong with you? Are you upset or what happened? So I went to the cashier and I said, I need to talk to the manager right now. And she said, I am the manager, the, me, the same girl that she helped me to find the, the piece that I needed. So I said to her, you know what, like I told you before, this is the first time that I, that I come to this store because I always go to Home Depot and it's too far from me to drive and I came here because it's close to my house, it's the first time that I come over and I like the way how you helping me so fast to find the piece. But uh, you know what? The guy who helped me to make my car key, he's terrible with a bad attitude. He's so disrespectful, and you know what? These kind of people make clients like me don't come back to your store no more because I'm not the one who loses. It's the one you guys lose a client like me. So the manager was, oh, I'm so sorry, I don't know, so sorry. She always so sorry, so sorry. I told her, these kind of people, they're not supposed to work with, with people with customer service because they are terrible. This guy is very bad energy. I told her, this guy is a negative energy. And because him, I'm not planning to come back to the store. I'd rather to go Home Depot. So the woman was like, like, like that, you know? She doesn't know what to say to me. And you know what? I said, give me my money back now. Put my money in my card. So she gave me a receipt, she put the money back. But um, I just wanted to tell you about this kind of situation happen, you know, in real life. When you go to the stores and you have to deal with people that you don't know. And when something happened like that to you guys, you don't need to discuss with the people, with a bad energy person, no. You call right away to the manager and you complain to the manager right away because you're gonna waste your time if you're gonna start, you know, you say this, you say that, you did that, no, you don't waste your time like that. You go direct to the manager and the manager will handle in their own way, you know? My friends, I just wanted to mention to you guys about this negative experience that I had with that person. God bless that person and you know what? Uh, we have to do what we have to do, my friends, in life. You have to protect yourself always. Your energy is very important and you have to protect that always because people like that, with that bad energy, are they are like a vampires. They are toxic people with bad attitude and all the, um, the shit that they have inside. They throw it out. out and anybody that they they pass through their life and those people are toxic so that's why today i want to show you the way how i am you know cleansing my bedroom the bedrooms the place our temple that we where we rest that we sleep that we are in our bed you know, our body, our spirit is, is resting. Today, I'm going to show you the way how I cleanse my bedroom and also a couple of techniques for cleansing your bedroom. So before you do your cleansing in your house uh, to kill all the negative energy, rule number one, clean your house, bathrooms, floors, um, organize, put everything in order, um, and then you're gonna start doing the sage cleansing. What I'm gonna do now, I am going to burn sage. Okay, aquí tengo mi sage. Entonces, um, voy a usar este container para poder quemar el sage. Okay, so now um, let's do the cleansing. When you burn your sage, 
open your windows and doors. Lo negativo afuera. Todo, todo afuera. You have to do it this way. The cleansing goes outdoors, out. Every negative energy, todo para afuera, por ventanas, por windows, everything outside. Okay? So, you leave your sage, you know, here if you want outdoors. After you finish the cleansing with the sage, you close your doors and windows because now I'm going to um, burn my bay leaves. Bay leaves? These herbs are very, very good to burn in the house. So when, if you sick, also you burn it and close all the doors, close the windows. So ahora voy a quemar el bay leaves. I am doing this on my nice stand. You will see the difference when you feel your space, your bedroom, um, the way how it's gonna feel when you get in your bedroom. So you leave your bay leaf in the room. They are burning now and they are releasing now that uh, beautiful positive energy for your bedroom. So you can leave it there. So you, when you come back to your room, you will feel the difference. So now the bay leaves are doing the work in my bedroom. So now I'm going to show you another technique that you can use in your house. It's very good. So I'm going to use this transparent glass. You have to use this. And after you use it, you, you cannot use it for drinking no more. So you have to keep this glass just to do this kind of cleansing. So I'm going to use three spoons of salt. Uno, dos, tres. So I have the salt here, and I'm going to add the water. We're gonna cover the salt, okay? Okay? So you're gonna leave it like that. So this glass, it's gonna be in your bedroom, next to your bed, or under your bed also. And also you can place another glass in the entrance of your house, behind the door, or any corner that you want in your house. The salt is gonna soak all the bad energy, okay? So this glass, they have to be 13 days. I'm gonna place this glass in my bedroom, next to my bed and I'm gonna keep it 13 days so after 13 days I will make another video and I will show you the way how it looks okay this glass like you see now if the salt is gonna be all over here until the top and it's gonna go down is because the house is very strong and bad energy it is very bad, you know? So that's why the salt is doing the work. 
But um, if the salt is normal here a little bit, it's because it's the energy is fine. But uh, when the salt goes all around the glass, and you know, it is because uh, you will need another session of salt in your house. So try to do it uh, all around your house if it's the first time that you're gonna do it. Now I'm gonna place this glass in my bedroom. I cannot place my glass under the bed because it's very low. I'm gonna put it on the side. Now I'm going to show you another technique that you can use white candles. I'm gonna use this one, long one, candle. White is a good color. It's a representative of peace, serenity, calm. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this oil, white sage and lavender. It smells beautiful, beautiful, you have no idea. It smells very, very nice. Very nice, okay. And also I'm going to use Again, the bay leaf. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to grab some oil and I'm going to rub it in this candle. You know? So you do it like this, you grab it, your candle, and you put the oil here. Because when the burning starts, you're gonna have the smell too. And this is good also for the bad energy, to kill the bad energy, okay? What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna blend some bay leaves. So I'm gonna blend it here. So now this is ready. We're going to put this here on the candles. Now this candle is ready to be burned and then this one is going to help also to clear your environment here in the house and you know to uh, clean all the bad energy. Now that the candle is going to start burning, it's going to start to releasing um, the properties of the bay leaves and the white sage and it's gonna be so beautiful for my house for my environment for my atmosphere here in my place and i recommend you that you do this in your house too when you bring negative energy from outside um, it's gonna be also in your house and your in your bed and all the atmosphere here in the house so when you do this kind of cleansings uh, for your house or for yourself, you have to do belief and this is gonna work because everything that I'm using it is everything is natural. And the only thing matters is the good intention that is in your heart to do this kind of things. So every single day for so many years, for so many years, I always light my candles in my house in the name of God, always. I think the candles, the flame are light um, we, we are lights, we are spirits of lights. So I always like to uh, light my candles every single day. Every single day I light my candles all around my house. My beautiful spirits, I hope that you enjoy this video and you get inspired from me and you learn something good and positive always, okay? So stand up strong, my friends. Mucho, mucha fuerza espiritual, a lot of strength in God. Y mucha, mucha buena, positiva vibra para ustedes. Energía, pero fuerte. Mucha fuerza mental, mucha fuerza mental espiritual. Because we are warriors of God. And remind you again 
that we have to keep being humble and be humble and say, God, thank you so much for another day of life. We have to pray also for this planet, for this world that are so many things happen now. And we have to pray for all the people in another continent, in the Middle East, that they are passing through these bad moments. And we have to pray for them. And also we have to pray for us, for all of us. I love you very much, my friends. God bless you. Don't trust nobody. Only trust our Lord. Only trust God. Make God your partner. So my friends, have a wonderful rest of the day, positive. I will see you in my next video. God willing. Bye-bye.